Coming up on today's FNN, we speak with MSA about an important upcoming holiday. Plus, we visit Valleywood to see what students are cooking up. And it's that time of the year. The EK Musical is back. Stay tuned for all that and more because FNN starts now. Happy Wednesday, Falcons. I'm Kylie Williams. And I'm Connor O'Brien. The end of March marks the start of one of the world's largest holidays, Ramadan, and many students at EK will be joining in on the celebration. Ramadan is a Muslim holiday that takes place every year on the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. This year, the holiday begins at sundown this evening and ends on April 20th. During this time, Muslims around the world would fast from sunup to sundown, which allows for a time of spiritual reflection. Muslim Student Association member Daoud Isma says that there are a few ways that fellow EK students can show kindness to their fasting classmates. So you guys can just help support us, make it easy on us. Maybe don't eat in front of your friends or something like that, but just like be kind about it, you know? For more information about Ramadan and to stay up to date with MSA, follow their Instagram page, msa.ekhs. Every Tuesday, students at Valley would enjoy their very own cooking club, and this week they had the help of several EK students. Last week, students were hard at work on their newest dish, chicken and noodles. Ms. Meyer's class has been busy all year creating and practicing new dishes with help from teachers and high school volunteers. Kelly Wynn, an Honor Society volunteer from EK, said that helping the class is always a fun and unique experience. We are making new recipes every like two weeks and we get to work with different kids or different grade level kids every time so it's a different experience. Next up, the club will be focusing on Irish recipes to honor St. Patrick's Day. Spring means warmer weather, spring break, and more importantly, the annual EK musical. This year, the EK theater team is putting on Shrek the Musical, and the first show is tomorrow night. The performances will take place on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 p.m., and one last performance Sunday at 3 p.m. Tickets can be purchased at the door or online using the QR code on the screen. Ryan Hodges, stage manager of this year's production, says that this will be a performance that you don't want to miss. We come in and work every single day, um, hours at a time, especially right now when we're coming in, we're working you know, right after school all the way to even 10 o'clock some days. So it's a lot, a lot of effort. Um, the cast is all going home and memorizing lines, practicing dances. The crew is building a bunch of stuff backstage. So it's just a lot going into it everywhere. All performances take place here at EK inside of the Fine Arts Auditorium. Good luck to everyone that is a part of this year's musical. All over our school, trophy cases are filled from sports teams taking home championships. But there is one trophy case you might not have seen. Our eSports team is one of the most successful in the area, and I got the chance to sit down with a few members who have brought home their share of trophies. This is just in the last three years. We've hosted and been victors for every Smash tournament that we've uh, been a part of. This is Elijah Wakeman. He is a senior who plays Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for UK. He is constantly the rank one player for the team, and he told me how we got into Smash and the eSports team while we played a competitive best of three. See? I can't play them on single Joy-Cons. Ratio. What kind of experience do you have in like local tournaments? I used to go to a lot more. I've gone to more than I can count. I've made like a lot of friends at them. Uh, that's a big theme that I've gotten with esports is I've just like been able to make a lot of really good friends because of it. Played kind of just for fun for a really long time. And then freshman year when I joined the team is when I really started to compete a lot more and get serious about the game. Unfortunately, that first game was my only victory, but we still have a chance against Kaiman Cartwright. He's a sophomore who plays Madden for EK. His successes have brought us two shiny trophies for being the Eastern U.S. Regional Champion. While I cannot play against him directly, I can still try to get a better record than him in some online matches. What are some of the weaknesses that you've exposed during your championship uh, runs? I exposed the running game, I exposed their defense, I exposed their secondaries also. That's the most important thing about the defenses is the secondary. I still lost all of my matches, but Kaiman and I were laughing about it and having a great time. And it taught me that the most important thing to do when playing games, even at a competitive level, is to have fun and make good friends while doing it. From FNN, I'm Connor O'Brien. So Connor, how long would it take me to be as good as them? I'd say you have to put in about 20 hours a week for a good long while. Oh wow, okay. Well that does it for you news today, Falcons. Now let's toss it over to McKenna Vanover for your EK Sports Report. 
What's up Falcons, it's McKenna and this is your EK Sports Report. Mental health is a huge part of life whether you're an athlete or not. Our girls soccer team wanted to recognize this and have a mental health awareness game for their first game against Northview tonight. Be sure to wear green in the stands to support students who struggle with mental health and any donations made at the game will be donated to Athletes for Hope. The game starts at 645 at Pat Patterson. Genesis Jerome Ayala, a goalkeeper on the team, says last season didn't go how they wanted, but they're expecting a better outcome this season. Throughout this year and throughout our winter conditioning, we've seen a lot of improvement so far, so we're really hoping that's going to continue with us throughout the whole entire season. We're expecting a better um, game plan to come out with that being our record. The lacrosse team is coming off an up and down year last year, where they struggled for consistency. After a full offseason of workouts and practices, this year's squad is expecting big things. Harrison Stidolf is expecting to anchor the team throughout this upcoming season and says that the goal this year is simple, grow. You know, we're really trying to have a historical season this year. Expectations are pretty high. Uh, the, the guys have been really making a lot of improvements, working hard in the offseason. As long as we play our system, I think we can keep things simple and keep in contention with any team we face. You can catch the lacrosse team in action tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at Pat Patterson Field behind Crestwood. That's all I have for you today, Falcons. We'll be back on Friday with some highlights from the start of the spring sports season. Let's pass it back to Connor and Kylie at the desk. Well, that does it for today's show. I'm Kylie Williams. And I'm Connor O'Brien. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at Falcon News Network to check out some of our new Instagram series. And subscribe to us on YouTube to catch the latest episodes every Wednesday and Friday. Have a great week, and we'll see you back here on Friday. <laughs>